9-11. Uh, we see it uh, on every day on Wall Street. Bankers committing financial terrorism. They trade on their own death. They trade on other brokers' death. You know, Max Kaiser, I've got to stop you. This is bombshell. I didn't know that you would break this here today. I want to just stop you. We're going to have to do a nightly news piece on this tonight and, and, and pull out all the original articles because I covered it at the time. It came out in the major German papers and British papers in the week after 9-11 that Buzzy Krongard, executive director of the CIA, I guess that was number three at the CIA, uh, an administrative position overseeing the agency itself, he was involved in the insider trading, and we know it was tied to Counter Fitzgerald back then, but then it got shut down. Record put options, not against the airline industry, but against United and American specifically, and that that was then covered up and may have run into the billions but that got shut down very quickly. If you have an eyewitness inside there that actually saw it happening, it proves prior knowledge. And it, yeah. it, 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 is, it is the smoking gun of 9-11. Uh, Jim Rickards, who writes this book, The Death of Money, which you can order it now, it's a follow-up to his international bestseller, Currency Wars. He's, a, he's with the intelligence services. He also no, I know who he is. I want you to get him on the show. I've asked you to get him on. I want him on. Yeah, he, well, um, so he he's in the room. He provides eyewitness account of um, the 9-11 options trading, and um, he it explains every, all the dimensions that are associated with that 9-11 insider trading. I My contribution to the story is, and I've hinted at it before. Sensational. But, this, but this book that's come out, I can say now, because I have some uh, support with this book, is that I was talking to Cantor Fitzgerald brokers in, on the days leading up to 9-11. No, no, they, you sold them the virtual trading software. Yes, they bought my company, and I was talking to them directly, and they were saying, uh, they were talking about trading on this information about these explosions and airplanes and hitting New York City, and uh, now we've got confirmation. That, so some of those people died trading against themselves. Some of those people are trading on their own deaths, and they're now dead. Well, uh, let's that, break that, this down. Account. When does your your, uh, your RT show airs on Friday, right? Uh, April 3rd, I believe that show is aired. Well, I know it re-airs because I, I get confused on the dates. Yeah, I want to get you close. on as soon as that airs so we can actually air that interview here and get follow-up analysis. But break down what a put option is for folks that aren't in the stock market or don't study it and, and why this is such a big deal. The stocks uh, are trade on the New York Stock Exchange and stocks trade on companies like airlines. And in this case, you're talking about United Airlines and American Airlines. At the same time, in Chicago, there's an options exchange. And an option allows you to put up for a very little amount of money an option to buy or sell that stock at some point in the future. And the reason why the option market is interesting, and I traded options on Wall Street for years. I was the, I think, number two or number three highest producing options broker within the Sherson Lehman Hutton system. I did over a million dollars in gross commissions in options in 1988, uh, just trading options. Uh, and I was in there, it was a very select group of- No, no, you were even on things like Nightline and stuff back in the 80s. We found those clips, it's pretty funny. I, I, you know, so I, I, I made my career trading options. It looks like options a- Go ahead. They're very, very, yeah, they're very, very, very sensitive to news events. When any information hits the tape in, in the market, it, you'll see it in the options market first because it's the most highly leveraged market there is. So you see, it, it, it's almost like a, um, you know, a thermometer or a barometer. It tells you if events that are about to happen. It's where people trade first before they trade anywhere else. So in the case of 9-11, you saw options trading as if airplanes had exploded on these airline stocks before the airplanes exploded because the people that were trading them in the days leading up to the event knew about what was coming and they were trading on inside information and so the options market is like um you know a litmus test or it gives you a photo of what the insiders are doing and uh, jim rickards in his book talks about how he built a system called mark ent that's M-A-R-K-I-N-T, short for market intelligence, which was based on creating an options detection program for the CIA to track terrorism and other activities using the options market, which is based on my technology, the virtual specials technology, going back to the mid-90s. So also, remember, John Poindexter created the PAM, which is the policy analysis market, was an attempt to create a terror futures market to try to figure out where terrorism would hit next. That's also based on my technology. So here you have the options trading. I was talking to the Canada broker. 
uh, in the days leading up to this event because they had just bought my company. They moved it to the top floor of the World Trade Center and they're buying these options and trading. I then talked to my friends at Alex Brown where I also worked as a broker. I worked under Buzzy Krongard. They also heard the story coming out of New York. They were also buying these options. Stay there, and stay there. I want to come back and get to that day. And again, it came out in the German papers. We're going to put all the articles up on screen. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriot e-liquid by La Cig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes. Kick some ash. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> Type in Insider Trading 9 slash 11. You'll get the Asia Times, the New York Times, German newspapers. The best site is uh, 911research.wtc7.net. They've got a whole compendium, USA Today, clippings, 
profit from loss uh, stocks of United and American Airlines fell sharply following the September 11th attacks, which had used hijacked jets from tier airlines, but unknown investors made a bundle using a financial derivative that increased the value when a stock went down. And there is the map. Source, Yahoo Finance, also USA Today. They have some of those graphs on there. And you can read literally dozens of newspapers about this. But when it came out that it was the executive director of the CIA through the company that Max Kaiser was working for, and, of course, Max has been talking about it since it happened. Uh, and then now he's got an insider who says he was there witnessing it. Again, I know who the gentleman is you're talking about. Max Kaiser, an investigative journalist now, tell us about the gentleman and exactly what he said and what's coming out on your next uh, special report on RT. This is, this is huge because we know this all went on. They got caught. Nobody got in trouble. Uh, there was some other insider trading by people. But they ended up going to jail, but never in a question of how did they know that was going to happen in New York. That was to shut people up. Uh, but uh, the CIA folks were allowed to profit from this. I mean, this shows absolute prior knowledge, bare minimum, and that they all lied to Congress. Go ahead, uh, Max Kaiser. All right. So the book is called Death of Money. The author is Jim Rickards. He wrote the Currency Wars book, which is a bestseller. And he's very closely associated with the CIA. He runs war games for the CIA where they play uh, currency war games, where they use financial derivatives to fight each other in the futures markets. So China, Russia, America, Iran, they're equipped with financial futures and they try to destabilize each other's economy in the financial markets, it's financial war. And he's very close in advising the Pentagon and the CIA. And he's our main go-to guy. He was also negotiated a hostage release out of Iran back when there was uh, during the uh, 79 crisis. Uh, he's also been involved in the bailout of long-term capital management uh, when it went bust uh, back in the early 1990 period. Uh, so this guy is a very plugged in guy, uh, very close to the government, very close to the intelligence agency. It, the couple of points he makes, the 9-11 report is false because the 9-11 report, he says, says that there wasn't really a significant amount of insider trading or that the markets were not reflecting insider trading and that there's not, not a lot of meat to that bone. He says that's completely false. There's a, he was there and he saw the information, eyewitness, and he gives you an eyewitness account of insider trading. He says there was unquestionably insider trading. He himself distances the idea of the CIA trading on this information. My addition to this conversation is to tell you that based on my having worked with Buzzy Krongard at Alex Brown and having talked to the brokers at Cantor Fitzgerald and the brokers at Alex Brown leading up to this event that they were trading on this inside information. So that, those are my conversations that I had. Now, there was $5 million left in the Alex Brown account that was never collected from uh, brokers and bankers who were trading on this information who died on the event. So instead of escaping, instead of leaving the building and saving their lives, they stayed behind to trade options on airlines and they died, but they died with $5 million left in those accounts. Those, that money was never collected. And that gives you an insight into the mindset of the average stockbroker on Wall Street. They're pathologically ill. They'll trade options until they kill themselves. And of course, they kill a lot of people that day and they contributed mightily to the events leading up to those events. And so this book coming out it's coming i think it's hitting the stands for sale a week from today april 3rd i believe that very exciting we're going to get him on and give us the contact info if you want to help us expedite that max i want to get you on together maybe have him on for 30 minutes then have it lap over with you uh, overlap so we could get some deep analysis on this but this is something i've studied deeply and so i know how true everything you're saying is plus we're putting mainstream news articles on screen while you're saying it People say something like 9-11, if it was an inside job, it would come out. It has come out. Sibel Edmonds, the, the NSA uh, translator for the FBI, all these other witnesses, six of the 10 9-11 commissioners say the whole thing's a fraud, that the official report wasn't even written by them. Uh, it, it is just a giant, stinking pile of lies. It's now come out on Zero Hedge, more video of the rebels bragging they stage false flags against Assad. The UN well, even now admits that. Yeah. I mean, their, their whole let's, 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 yeah. Let, let's let's point out a couple of things. I mean, the the trading on the 9/11 events were, in my view, were done by insiders that 
didn't know they, they weren't necessarily responsible for the those events they just knew they about could it have stopped them they knew about it they could have stopped the, they knew about it in time to have stopped those events well that makes you an but accomplice it, if i know my neighbor's going to kill his wife and i don't do anything i'm an accomplice i i, I agree now in, in, hold on in stay the, there max i'm going to give you the floor we're going to come back signal amplification yeah stay there uh, Skype works like that. I, I, when we're sending him audio, he can't hear me. So that, that's why sometimes guests don't hear me talking. We're going to go to break. We're going to be right back, ladies and gentlemen, Max Geyser. I'm Alex Jones. This is incredible. We're on the march. The